for In Conversation with NTV News' Mary Kay O'Neill. And I should say, the award-winning Mary Kay O'Neill. Look at that. <laughs> so we're very proud of you, proud of our journalists. Thank you, thank uh, you. The little station that could. Amazing. How did you get into journalism? Well, I was actually studying um, education. Well, about to be in ed education, a Bachelor of Arts at Memorial University. And I knew I always loved to read and write. It was something that I loved to do, especially public speaking. I was the one who would enroll myself into public speaking competitions. Mm -hmm. But I knew that the second I got into Mana, I started doing um, education prereqs. It wasn't for me. I was kind of reading other people's writing, or you know, I wasn't doing what I wanted to do. So I, I left Mon, had no idea where I wanted to go with it, and someone mentioned to me about the journalism program at Kona. And I was thinking, yeah, like I feel like that'd be something I'd actually really like to do, but I don't know if it's for me. I, I've never really seen myself to be a journalist. Tried it out. I wasn't even there for a month and I knew this is what I was destined to do. Like 100% mm. this is what I was destined to do. I won that award uh, my first year of journalism school and little did I know in just a couple of months I would be working here full time. What a great story. So I guess advice to people out there is follow your dreams. Sometimes Absolutely. if you do what you love, the money will follow. And where's this profession going? It's changing so rapidly just the nature of what it means to be a TV station, what local news means. So obviously it's all going online. We're all pivoting to digital it seems. It's digital, digital, digital apps, apps, apps. Right. Phones, tablets, whatever you got. You can see what we're up to and watch us any time of the day. NTV Plus and TV.ca. Right. And it blew my mind. We just got the updated stats for NTV.ca. There's 100,000 people watching news stories and weather and local cams every week. 100,000 people. It's only 500,000 people in the province. 80% of them are watching NTV. So with this NTV.ca, it's almost like having a second TV station. And just to plug our app, there is this app we have called NTV Plus, which is all the local programs and stuff we have the streaming rights to. So. It is an exciting time to be a broadcaster because really what it is, it's we're in the content creation game. So we're creating content and we seem to mostly specialize in news. So thank you. Thank you for being part of that winning formula. And thank you, dear viewer, for watching. We just have time for one more question, which is final thoughts for our viewers out there. Since we were talking about, you know, following your dreams and everything, I will leave it with this as a journalist who did follow her dreams, but my dad always used to say and says it to this day and is so happy I found it, love what you do and you'll never work a day in your life.